To find your MO2 template, open the M Installer menu and navigate to your purchase template. Please note, you must have a licensed copy of MO2 to make use of the MO2 templates. To install an MO2 template using M Installer, navigate to your template in the menu and click Install. Doing so will download the template and install it for use in Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. Once installed, you can find the template inside Final Cut Pro Title Templates and Generators tab. MO2 templates will be installed under Titles in the MO2 Expansions folder. To use the MO2 template in your project, select it and drag it into your project timeline. To place items in your MO2 drop zones and adjust the template's parameters, use the Inspector tab inside Final Cut Pro. Once in the Inspector, select the drop zone you'd like to replace with your own content by clicking on that drop zone well. Select media from your library that you'd like to place in the drop zone and click Apply Clip. To adjust the parameters of the drop zone, navigate to the MO2 Drop Zone Material Settings. In the Albedo Channel Settings of the material, you can adjust the gamma, hue, saturation, and brightness. To change colors of other items in your template, click the item in the canvas. For more precise control, use the MO2 Scene Structure Hierarchy to select the item you want to change. Once your item is selected, click the material to open the Material Properties panel to make adjustments to it. A quick way to change the base color of the material is to change the solid color in the albedo channel. To make this change, click the color well and choose your new color. Changing the color of the material will affect any object that has the same material applied to it. To change a material of an object, select a material in your scene and click the Materials to open the Materials Library. Choose a material from the library. Clicking on an item will apply it to your object. In this case, many objects are changing because they are all part of an instancer. Most templates will have additional published parameters in addition to the settings in MO2, and they'll be located below the MO2 parameters. To edit typography in MO2 templates, select a text layer from the scene within the canvas or the inspector. Doing so will open the text properties. Here, you can change the text itself, as well as font, style, spacing, extrusion depth, bevels, and additional settings. To change the position of the text, use the position controls in the inspector or the 3D gizmo in the canvas. To change the material of a text object, select its material and click the Materials button to open the Material Library. Clicking on a material will apply it to your object. 